Hello, welcome to the video on order of operations. This is our second example set, example set B. And of course, I hope you had a chance to watch that lesson video first. It's always important that you, um, you start with the lesson. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get going here. Now recall from the lesson, the easy way to remember the order of operations is this saying here, PEMDAS, right? Where the P stands for the uh, parentheses or grouping symbols. Okay, that's what we're gonna do first. And then we're going to do the E next, which is exponents or powers. And then we'll do multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And we're going to do this from left to right. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and apply this procedure to these problems here. And so I look at my first problem. I'm looking for parentheses or grouping symbols. And of course, I have them right here. So I have to do what's inside of the parentheses first. So I have 21 plus 3. Of course, that's going to be 24 divided by 4 times 2. Okay, so I'm done there. So now I look for any powers. I don't see any powers. So now I'm here at multiplication and division. So here's a common um, place where students get confused. Okay, they think, oh, I have to, to do, I have to do multiplication always before division because it, you know it's the first letter in the same PEMDAS. No, that's incorrect. Okay. It's whatever you see first, okay, so uh, from left to right. So you really could write PEMDAS as, you know, if you wanted to, just to make the point, you could write it this way. Uh, let's see here. I'm just switching the D and the M, and I'll also do the same thing with the S and the A here. So, uh, boy, I won't even try to attempt to say uh, that phrase. But it just goes to, sh um, goes to the point that, Multiplication, division, or division, multiplication. So whatever you see from left to right. So in this case, we see the division first. So I'm going to do this. Okay, so 24 divided by 4 is, of course, 6. And I have 6 times 2. And that is 12. All right. I like to keep hammering that point home because that's one of these areas where students get a little confused. And, you know, it's understandable. You can get um, a little confused uh, with that saying. That's why you're working with me. Okay, PEMDAS, what do I do first here? And if you haven't tried this problem, I would go ahead and maybe pause the video and give it a try. Okay, so we have uh, two sets of parentheses or two sets of grouping symbols. You always do the innermost first. Okay, so I'm focusing right there. So I'm gonna rewrite the problem. This is the way you should show your work. Okay, you really should try to model how I'm doing this. So I have two bracket, eight plus, now five minus three is of course two, end bracket there, minus seven, okay? So now I'm looking for any more grouping symbols or parentheses, and I have them, okay? These brackets are the same as parentheses. They mean the same thing in mathematics. So I'm gonna work on uh, what's inside of those brackets, and I have two times 10, eight plus two is 10, minus seven okay so right here this is multiplication and then of course I have subtraction and we know according to PEMDAS that multiplication comes first so now I have 20 minus 7 and of course that is 13 now remember you want to show your work and you want to be neat all right I years and years and years ago when I was uh Oh, maybe in middle school or probably that. I had terrible um, penmanship. And I like to believe I have pretty good writing now, but it was something I had to work on. So, um, irrespective, you know, if you if you're kind of one of these uh, habitual, unneat type of writers like I was, you know, and people say, "Hey, your writing looks like chicken scratch." Listen, just work on it. You'll get better over time. But you do want to improve um, the way you show your steps and um, your your neatness. Okay, remember, you're not the only one that's looking at your work. And um, even if you were, I know from my own experience that after I would do you know, a problem and I, and I was really you know, not neat about it, I'd look back and I couldn't even read my own writing. So maybe some of you can relate to that. And um, you know, just kind of makes the point, neatness does count. Whoever came up with that saying was correct. Okay, moving on to our last problem here. So, Remember PEMDAS, I want to do parentheses first. So I have a, some inner, inner parentheses and I have some outer parentheses, those brackets. 
but let's go ahead and just focus right here on those inner parentheses. So I'm going to go 16 divided by brackets 9 minus 5 is, of course, 4. Okay, so that'll be 4 squared bracket times 16. Okay, so what do I do next? Well, I still have to work inside of whatever parentheses remain. So these brackets are basically, like I said, parentheses or grouping symbols. So I have to work on this 4 squared. And notice I'm just rewriting everything nice and neat. So this will be 16, and I'll go to put a brackets. Use these brackets here. You can use parentheses, by the way, if you'd like at this point, but it's up to you. So it's going to be um, 4 squared inside of the brackets, which is 16 times 16. All right, what do I do next? Now, remember, PEMDAS just got done making this point. All uh, right, PEMDAS. When you get to here, the multiplication divisions, whatever you see from left to right, once again, we see division first. Some people would want to do the, uh, the multiplication. If you did the multiplication, you're going to come up with a different answer. So you be very, very careful here. All right, so this is going to be division first. This is what I see from left to right. So I got 16 divided by 16, which is 1. 1 times 16 is 16. Okay, so... Listen, if you got any one of these uh, incorrect, uh, certainly don't, be, um, don't become discouraged. Learn your mistake and also maybe retry this problem later on. You know, go back to it. Just, just, become, just because you've seen the solution doesn't mean that you can't, there isn't value in, in retrying the problem. I just wouldn't do it exactly right now, but, you know, maybe come back uh, in a few hours or tomorrow or, or whatever and just give yourself a quick spot check. Okay, so keep working hard and uh, we'll continue to practice the order of operations. Good luck.